Fossil footprints tend not to wow the general public in the same way a skeleton does. However, they are as important as those skeletons, since they show what those ancient animals were doing. A brand new set of fossil trackways goes to prove Disney's dinosaur more accurate than you would think. That multiple species of dinosaurs may have herded together for protection. Let's take a gander at those impressive tracks and learn what the experts have to say about them. When it comes to understanding what it was the dinosaurs were doing with themselves for 200 million or so years, the only way to know for sure is ichnology, the study of fossilized impressions. These impressions are what is left over when an animal does a thing, and it is the only hard evidence that animals ever did things in the past. You can assume they did things since animals today do things, but you can't prove it without those impressions. Most of the time, these impressions are just footprints, and footprints are boring to the majority of the public, so you don't really hear or see much about them. However, they're super important. They're important for understanding how social dinosaurs may have been. Most of these tracks are the animal walking along, minding their own business. That said though, sometimes they do offer a bit more information than that. They can preserve unusual activities, such as a giant Carcharodontosaurid pursuing a Titanosaur, Carcharodontosaur mating displays, or a Dilophosaur popping a squat. July 2025 saw the publication of a paper in Plus One by Phil Bell, Brian Pickles, Sarah Ashby, Issy Walker, Sally Hurst, Michael Ramp, Paul Durkin, and Caleb Brown describing a huge 20 meter square fossil trackway preserving the footprints of a bunch of different dinosaurs. The trackway was discovered in 2024 by Phil Bell in Dinosaur Provincial Park Paleontological Preserve in southern Alberta, Canada. A team of volunteers, researchers, and students from the local Tyrell Museum were brought out to help excavate the tracks with picks, awls, trowels, hammers, brooms, paintbrushes, and dustpans. The tracks, dubbed the Skyline Track Site, are natural mold tracks formed when the dinosaurs walked through some mud and left their tracks behind. The sediment the tracks were left in dried out, hardened into something stronger than the sediment around it, and then were buried by softer sediment. The tracks were then hardened into rock via diagenesis. The now rocky tracks were made up of a sediment that's stronger than the rocky sediment deposited over it, so the layers above the tracks eroded away, leaving the tracks almost like they were when they were made. As the team worked on the site, more and more tracks were revealed. Each track was labeled with a letter and number denoting what animal made it and what number the track is in the sequence. The site was also mapped with hand-drawn maps, digitally made maps, and photogrammetry. Once everything was mapped and measured, the team was astonished to learn that the track site consists of around 15 tracks belonging to five ceratopsians, or horned dinosaurs, an ankylosaurid, or club-tailed armored dinosaur, a small theropod possibly of Paravian variety, and two tyrannosaurs. They do move in herds. Yeah, so it seems, based on the direction all the tracks are going, the exact horizon on which all the tracks are preserved, and the way in which all the tracks are preserved, that the Ceratopsians and Ankylosaur were walking together. The track site has preserved ripple marks at one end, indicating a waterline. The Ceratopsian and Ankylosaur tracks are heading to the waterline, perpendicular to it. The small theropod is anomalous enough that the researchers decided to just ID it as theropod, since it could be some form of avian dinosaur, something like an ostrich dinosaur, oviraptorosaur, or even a thessalosaurid ornithopod. The Tyrannosaur tracks are oriented perpendicular to the Ceratopsian tracks and parallel to the waterline. Researchers think that the Tyrannosaur tracks were made on the same bedding plane and at the same geologic time as the other footprints, but not at the exact same time as the others, as in a stalking situation. Maybe they were coming to drink after the herd had left. It seems this somewhat goes to prove that different types of dinosaurs were totally fine with congregating with one another. 
it doesn't really prove for sure that these dinosaurs weren't just coincidentally heading to a water body to drink. That's totally possible. Ceratopsians are more plausibly social animals, since mass death sites have been found. However, some of these sites are hard to use to prove that the animals were definitely together when they died. It's possible they were all washed downstream after death. Of course, finding a bunch of other species in the bone bed would help prove this non-social alternative. At this point, most experts agree these monospecific bone beds reflect a real social aggregation of the animals before death. Centrosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Leptoceratops, and even Triceratops are great examples here. Based on the super-armored appearance and comparatively little brain power in ankylosaurs, it would be easy to biasedly assume they were loners. However, a few discoveries have been made of multiple animals buried together. They tend to be of the same age, so it may be that these animals were social and stuck together only at certain points in their lives. To add to all this information, there are plenty of animals alive today that are totally okay with congregating with other species. Birds do this all the time, some reptiles do this, but it's mostly large mammals. They are the best analogs with regards to herding since some dinosaurs may have occupied similar megafaunal niches, like browsing, grazing, etc. So, most experts have agreed to the possibility that this sort of thing occurred with dinosaurs, but just didn't really have any proof for it. Sure, this isn't the hardest of proofs, but it's pretty dang good. The tracks seem to continue into a hill, so it's possible more will be found if the hill is ever excavated. The new track site improves the ability for people to find more fossil tracks in Dinosaur Provincial Park, since a new search image can now be disseminated to all the people who work at the Tyrell Museum, or anyone who goes hiking out there. In fact, such a new search image has already been put to use in finding new tracks and track sites. Perhaps more interesting animal associations will be found and published on soon. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.